Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. I'm Van, and we are all the LFR family. If y'all not already with the LFR family, man, go ahead and click the like button for me and the subscribe button. That would be amazing. Um, we are about to check out a debate on Ohio State University. Now, of course, is a bunch of children that's yelling at an adult um, who is pro-life. And one thing I want to say to you all is Gen Z, they are not stupid. They're not. They're not. But what they are is they they want their own stuff. That's it. They want their own stuff. And they are very selfish. I think they're extremely selfish. I think they're extremely intelligent. But I think they just want their own stuff and don't want to do the old people rules. That's why they make up um, they make up new sayings, new slang, new ways of speaking in code. That's that's something that we used to do when we were younger, too. Think about it. We used to come up with our own slang, our own terms, so that we can communicate ourselves. As soon as the old people catch on and start saying what we say, we no longer say that anymore. I don't even know if the young and say fleek or on fleek or anymore. Or there's a bunch of other terms out there. But, you know, it is what it is. They try to move on. So the Constitution, whenever they hear, hear someone going against the Constitution, they will also go against the Constitution. Because to them, that's really old, antiquated ways of doing things from what they're being told. And they will eat it up. And they say, yeah, we don't care how ridiculous our ways of thinking are. We still want to do things our way the new way and we want to get rid of from um, we want to get rid of the days of old okay so that's where they're coming from all right now we about to check this out ourselves they may very well say some extremely disrespectful things but try your best to forgive them because they're ridiculous but this is their time so um, just understand if you want to communicate with them disrespect is not the way um, we got to find a new way to really get them on the side of reason without having to go down to their to their level because they'll beat the hell out of you with experience if you want to, i think that came did that come from somebody famous i think so okay let's go can i ask you a question sure do you have a daughter yes i have a daughter yes i have a son, yes, have a son. Okay. so if your son was in college and got a girl pregnant you would want that girl to give birth absolutely that's my grandchild and if she didn't want to parent that child I would say it's my responsibility. I would feel it's my responsibility to offer to adopt that child. If your son was in middle school mm -hmm. and got a 13-year-old girl pregnant, mm -hmm. you would want that girl to have to go through the trauma of giving birth as a 13-year-old girl? I would. I would say first of all, no one wants a 13-year-old to be pregnant. I think Kat, so she everyone. Get so she should get an abortion. Do Do you think that having an abortion simply wipes it all away? That gets that gets rid of the sexual assault, that cures the pain she endured. How does that's this argument apply to the 13-year-old situation, then? Mm -hmm. so that's not a consenting adult, if, like the person who is pregnant. You can't consent if you're not, if you're a minor, you can't consent to anything. So should you, if you're a minor, should you be able to have an abortion without your parents' consent? Yes. <laughs> if it's going to you, you in the future, just, you have your whole life ahead. You just said you're a minor, you can't consent to anything. And I said, if you're a minor, can you consent to have an abortion? And you just said yes. Do you understand how that's a logical a statement? Is prepared to have a child. I agree. I agree. So no 13 year old is prepared to have a child. By rape, by consent, whatever, they should be able to have an abortion as a 13 year old. No one is saying in the pro life movement that a woman, a girl who is sexually assaulted no one is saying that she should she should become a parent we know it's human because it has human parents the law by genesis says like begets like like i can't make a koala bear no matter how many times i have sex with my husband no matter what position i'm having sex in i can only make a human being and we know that human being is alive because it's growing the cells are rapidly multiplying and what's really fascinating is that human being is self-directed it tells itself how to develop like yes the cells are alive but that doesn't mean it is alive like it doesn't have person does that make when, sense okay that's that is exactly what the argument so now when do you get personhood when you can viably exist outside of the womb without depending on the person whose body you're in. But see, that's a slippery slope because when, when I ask people when does personhood begin, no matter what college I'm at, I always get a different answer. And throughout our history, when we separate being a human being from being a person, the results 
are always catastrophe. It's never good because there's a slippery slope and different people subscribe different definitions to personhood. So all premature babies should be left to die. All right, so now, all right, so if I could just like animate this conversation, it just keeps going through. So not if they're wanted. Your value as a human, you matter regardless of whether or not your parents want you or regardless of how other people see you. Our point in the pro-life movement is that every single person, no matter what you say or what your beliefs are, that you have value and that you matter. And it's not, your value doesn't stem from your wantedness, from somebody saying that you're wanted. Because you're- I like this lady because what she's doing is she's giving them an extremely valuable, um, like talk from a from a woman's perspective because they're going to be women someday and she just letting them know look um don't put all your value on whether or not you're wanted or somebody wants you it's not about that now i can see that y'all are young y'all don't know a damn thing about life because y'all extremely and y'all are extremely intelligent and performing and doing some amazing things but um living living will teach you a lot more than that school would or the classrooms have or the politicians that you're starting to listen to or your your parents who are some suckers and they're just trying to appease you so that they not hurt your feelings and you potentially hurt yourself because they decided to whoop your little ass someday that, that's it and and so by us being some sucker parents and we're allowing these kids to do and say whatever they want um they really are buying into the fact that i don't have to do it if i don't if i don't want to so i can feel free to be as uncomfortable as possible and go to as many and see they're trying to stand there and throw out all of these situations these 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 um situations that aren't likely to happen and they're trying to get this young lady i don't know her name um i'll give you her name in a minute when i see it um it probably popped across the field i mean the screen but that's not why i'm here i'm here for the conversation but um they'll give you all of these examples of what if they're 13 what if they're 11 what if they're 10 what if the fetus is only um half second old what if this what if that um it's not personhood it's this it's that now listen the bottom line is this um you first of all should understand the importance of life and if you're and if it was all about decisions and um my, my parents if they didn't want to have me i would have been okay if they didn't have me yeah you're here now and you will be able to say that but you're you're pretty ridiculous by not even trying to hear this young lady out the whole time she's talking to you all y'all are looking at your phones you're looking away you're shaking your head and denying what she's saying because she's not saying what you want her to say this is what dumb children do not dumb as a, as in lack of intelligence but dumb as in not realizing the opportunity that's in front of you and the type of wisdom that's coming your way that if you did take it in and apply it to your life you will be better for it but they're not here for that from your wantedness from somebody saying that you're wanted because your wantedness could change ma'am your mother could want you one day then not want you the other i, I need to answer her question because I think if you're, if I'm wrong about abortion and I, if, I, if I die, I go to heaven and God's like, you've wasted your entire life. It didn't matter. Okay, would you like me to answer the question? It didn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter at all, Kristen. You, you wasted your time. What have I done with my life's work? I've inconvenienced women. If you're wrong, if you're wrong, you've left millions of people to die because of because of their size. It's a because belief. of their location. Beliefs, beliefs can't be okay. right or wrong. So then they absolutely saying, are. Saying, no, theoretically, no, really. you're saying theoretically. We beliefs to... can be right or wrong. Okay. There is a right and okay. wrong. I think this is a regressive view. This is called a sofa clamp. This is used in second trimester DNA abortions. When we know a child can feel pain, how do they end life in a second trimester abortion? I have the quotes in my binder here from the National Abortion Federation's website, which is online. You grab a limb, you twist, and you pull. This is a regressive, antiquated view of how we treat inconvenient human beings.
Do, do you want to know how we kill children in the third trimester, which is legal? We use this this uh, needle, like similar in aminocentesis. So if you're getting an abortion in the third trimester, there's most likely a medical reason or a legitimate sure. reason why you need it. So why do you care? And in this why reason, a abortionist uses ultrasound to guide technology to identify the child in the womb. And they tried to get the digoxin inserted as close to the heart as possible to cause a cardiac arrest. Then she walks around for two days with a dead or dying child inside of her. And then she's given Lemuria seaweed sticks to ripen her uterus and she delivers a dead child. So that, that, that this is a regressive that, view. This is a regressive view okay. to believe that this child it's must die in order for you to live your life as you see fit. You have a very regressive view, I'm sorry to say. Would you get a vasectomy? Would you? Would you get a vasectomy? Would you? Would you get one? They don't need to get vasectomies because they're hopefully not having sex with women that are going to kill their children. I'm asking. Would you get a vasectomy? If you were a man, just make sure the woman you're having sex with won't kill your child if she conceives. It's very Don't have sex with me. I'd kill all Don't have children. Sex with there you go. Sounds like a good date. That needs to be a question on Tinder. I know. Jesse, I'm out. She said, don't have sex with me. I'll kill all your children. Young lady. Like, like that. And, and that was your moment to shine. You got your friends laughing. You said something cool. And it was like so dumb. It was so dumb. And I doubt with the way you're carrying yourself when it comes to that, that you'll, it, it, it'll be extremely difficult to find somebody who respects you. Um, that's the opposite sex. They're not going to respect you, especially not talking like that. Not talking like that. And your way of thinking is already stinking because yes, yeah, thinking, thinking it does happen because you're already saying that, um, you're already in the mindset that I can do whatever I want to do. And the consequences, there aren't any, like I can do whatever I want to do and I can try to fix it in a way that that best suits me. Um, so I can excuse myself for whatever's about to get done facts. And now she's trying to drag her friend. You ain't got to drag your friend to go um, go on. You can just walk away yourself, but her and her friend are both ignorant. And when it comes to, you know, just wanting to be the loudest and not having anything to say. But they're realizing that this young lady that they're talking to is not going to bow down to whatever they're trying to present to her simply because they're loud and they're disrespectful. And that's that's how life is. And I'm glad the I'm glad the young lady is just teaching the older woman is teaching the younger ladies that um, that they need to learn how to communicate. Better. I would never touch any of you either way. Yes, because that makes your that makes that justifies your extremist beliefs by insulting the way they look. I never said that. That's literally what you just said. I would never touch any of you anyway. That's not what I said. I said that I just mean the fact that they're pro life is why I would never touch them. Sorry, I'm gonna take a picture because my husband's like, why aren't you texting me back? I'm just gonna be like, current status. Yes, whiteboard. Listen, if the pre-born human being isn't a human being isn't alive you don't need any justification for abortion i literally could don't give i don't care but if the pre-born human being is a member of our species and is alive there's no justification oh we can get we can get that I, I we debated that earlier but yes but there's no justification that you can give to me that would say it's okay to kill a human being there's there there see uh what type of dumbasses are you where the first thing you're trying to figure out is, but how can I get away with the crime? Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. You need to tell me how much time I got before I get rid of it. Let's talk about that. Yeah, let's talk about that's a good, that's even better. Not protecting the baby that I have made because I was being either responsible or irresponsible. Don't know. Or either somebody forced this upon me. Don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, at first, this was a this was the type of conversation I would start. I would try to stay away from. I would stay clear of. But right now, I'm just speaking from a point of view of common sense, or just just you know self accountability. Just are you being responsible, or do you want to understand how much time do I have before I take this Plan B pill that's in my purse? You know what I mean? Because a lot of them are thinking that too. Like, oh my gosh, I, I did something wrong. 
let me go ahead and pop this plan B pill. I'm going to be all right. Because I thought, you know, th th um, they were clean and I thought that that wouldn't happen to me. But you know what? In before I even find out whether or not it happened to me or if I'm, I'm pregnant or not, I'm going to pop a couple of these plan, plan B pills and I'm going to sneak and take a test um, in a couple of days to make sure that I'm good. See, a lot of y'all are just going off of hope and y'all are extremely irresponsible and y'all want someone very badly to back up your irresponsible choices and decisions. And that's what's happening. That's why the first thing they want to know, whoa, 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 whoa. How much time we got before we can do it? That's what I want to know. Before we can kill the baby. When is it, when does it become a baby actually? All right? There's no justification. But I'm saying where you're going from there is saying that it's morally wrong, right? That's the, that's what you're implying is that's yes, morally wrong. I say it's morally wrong to kill innocent humans, and our law should reflect that. And everyone who's pro-choice is going to challenge that by saying- Yes, because they don't want to acknowledge the science, because this is this is the reality. Yeah. If you're pro-choice, and, and I'm not attacking anyone, but if you're pro-choice, you have to deny the humanity of the pre-born child yeah. in order to justify the belief that Born abortion baby. is okay. Why? Because changing your mind means that you may have to reconsider some of the decisions you've made in your life. And that is very hard. That is why when I'm on the campus and I'm engaged in this discussion, my intent isn't to walk away with every single mind's change because I know I'm not gonna be able to change a lot of your minds. But my goal is to plant a seed of doubt, to plant a seed of truth that later when you're reevaluating some decisions you're making, you may stop and consider, wait a minute, that is true. And but sometimes the truth is really like, hard. Actually I'm glad she said that. Sometimes the truth is really hard. It's really difficult. But we like to go to the worst case scenario. We like to go to the time of lack. Okay, what about if that one bit right there? Listen, <laughs> the future is worth it. Okay. If you're going to do the deed, take care of the seed. Okay. That's it. If you're going to do the deed, be prepared to take care of the seed. If you're not prepared to take a, to take care of the seed, relax. You're not ready. You're not ready. Strengthen your argument because I feel like... The foster care system and killing an unborn child. How much does the child suffer between being in the womb and being outside the womb? So your amount of suffering you will adore determines whether or not you should be killed. That's a slippery slope because what if someone's in a coma and can't feel anything? They're not going to feel any suffering. Can I kill them? No, because we would say that's wrong. Call me crazy, but killing innocent people is always wrong. Abortion is determining that I can no longer have a fetus in me because of my my own circumstance. What happens in abortion? So I so my I must exterminate it. That's simple. Period. That that's What's it? the fetus. That's the best pro-life ad I've ever seen. I must exterminate it. That's a pretty sad statement. But if you want to talk about statistics, the latest Ohio abortion statistics that were just released last week, black women and black men make up 12% of the population in Ohio, and they make up 40% of abortions in Ohio. And why is that? Why is that? It's damn sure not because it's 40% more rapes in the black community. It's not. But it's a whole bunch of irresponsibility going on too. There's a whole bunch of mind changing going on. Uh, you know what? Ah, I'm not where I want to be, you know, um, in life right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. What's That's wrong statistics. About, my, my thing is what's wrong, what's, what's wrong with that? that, doesn't mean that you're allowing them. I'm saying you're allowing them to. You want to say that's okay? That 40% of women who seek abortions are black when, when black so when men women only make up 12% of abortions. So black women can pursue a career. They're, they're taking the operation so they can pursue a career. Dude, that is selfish. It's irresponsible. And it's demonic. I am, you know what? I didn't, I, I was just having sex to have fun. And now I, I have a baby inside me. I, I still got to start my career. So 
I'm going to go ahead and do what I want to do. Don't say do what you got to do. It ain't what you got to do. It's what you want to do. And if you're deciding to do this for your career, it's extremely irresponsible. It's extremely selfish. And it's demonic because you're picking, you're, 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 you're saying I'm going to kill a baby so that I can move on with my life. How about not making those decisions that you're making? Before move, before deciding to move on you with your life like that, or live their lives to enhance their wealth. That's a tool. This is not. I just gave you statistics. You just wanted statistics. I just gave you. And you just acknowledged a pretty racist statement, and I'm letting you make that in statement because I don't need to say anything further to that. She said I was only bringing up race at specific times. You said I wasn't bringing up statistics. But so abortion, I brought up statistics abortion, and I brought race. Yeah. Bing, bing. Abortion is a tool. Abortion is a tool that allows women, right, to pursue careers and live. That their is life such a misogynistic statement. Extremely, extremely, it's a tool to allow women to suck out the baby so that they can move on with their careers. Because they're not going to have a career if they have the baby. We all know that. How can they possibly have a career? If they have a baby, you can't be pregnant and have a career. So they got to use the tool of abortion. If they ever want to survive in the real world with men. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, young man, who's ever teaching you, they got some work to do. And you got some listening to do too. You do. That's what you just said. It's a tool that allows women to pursue careers. Like, I'm not capable of being a mother without having an abortion. No, that's that's exactly what you just said. In fact, that's what the Supreme Court said in KCV Planned Parenthood. In KCV Planned Parenthood, the Supreme Court literally said women needed access to abortion in order to achieve their career goals and equal with men. That women have to have access to a special surgery that dismembers another human being in order to be equal to men. I fundamentally reject that because I can gestate, I can lactate, I can menstruate. You can't do those things and I can still beat your ass on any SAT. I, Next question. So wow. Wow. Mic drop, brother. Mic drop. Uh, mic drop. I can, I can menstruate, lactate, probate, all at eights, and I can still uh, whoop your tail in the SAT. <laughs> Listen, man, um, everybody's coming with their talking points based off of, um, you know, what they want to understand, what they want to understand, um, and what they want to support. And um, it's starting to look real nasty out here. I just want y'all to know, that this is really starting to look real nasty. Y'all need to understand that our decision making is becoming more and more and more and more and more selfish by the minute and it's coming more and more demonic by the minute too we are so entitled we have no morals and we believe that we um, that we follow a god when we absolutely do not we're allowing satan to take over this world um no we're allowing satan to take over our households even more because Satan has already been trying his best to kick butt and and it's it, whatever happens if, if we allow it that's the only time it can happen and we are too come on in come on in do your best do your thing I'll even help you but that's just how I look at it y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know man because this is ridiculous but again as a man I don't like to get into these type of conversations because you know what I mean I'm not I'm not a woman but at the end of the day um, I help men help in making babies so since men help in making babies we should definitely not shy away from this conversation because our point of view is um, um is, is 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 worth it it should be heard all right y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below and if you have yet to hit that subscribe button please make sure you do so on your way out the door once again guys i'm van and now we are all the lfr family and i look forward to seeing you on the next video and hopefully inside of the patreon as well y'all have been amazing per usual love y'all